The most important piece of riding gear you will buy, for obvious reasons. It's really important to find one that fits properly and is comfortable enough to wear for long periods of time. If it's not comfortable, it'll be very distracting while you're riding, preventing you from concentrating on being safe and making good decisions. However, finding a helmet that's right for you isn't always easy. Not only are there several different styles of helmets available, there are also different shapes, meaning the inside of the helmet is contoured to fit different head shapes. For example, some helmets are shaped for round heads and others are shaped for oval and on and on. I believe there are around four different head shape types of helmets. You have the round, oval, intermediate oval, and long oval. It gets pretty confusing. You might find a helmet and think it's the coolest looking thing ever just to find out it's only available in a head shape that doesn't work for you. And yeah, that sucks. But you shouldn't buy a helmet based on looks alone anyways. I mean, yeah, it's kind of important. But it's more important to have a comfortable helmet than a cool looking one that doesn't fit your head properly and hurts to wear. But if you can find one that does both, then you're good to go. So when buying a helmet, you have to not only find one that looks nice and seems like something you'd want to wear, but you also have to find one that's shaped to fit your head. So anyways, everybody thanks for stopping by my channel and watching my videos, I really appreciate it. Uh, remember if you haven't already subscribed to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, tap that bell notification icon down there so you know when I upload videos. I really do appreciate it. On today's video, I'm going to go over the different styles of helmets and touch on the positives and negatives of each style and also discuss some of the options that some of them have available. I'm going to mention here that you should only buy a helmet from a well-respected brand. Never buy a knockoff. Buy the best you can afford and buy from respected dealers. Saving a few dollars on a helmet is just not worth it. All right, for the most part, there are four different styles of motorcycle helmets. You have a full face helmet, the modular helmet, the three quarter helmet, and the half helmet. All right, the first helmet style is the one you're looking at right here. This would be the full face helmet. This is probably the most popular helmet that you can buy. And it's also the one with the most options and the most colorways and the most different types of styles that you can buy. These provide the best type of protection that you can get. A lot of these things, Take for example, this Scorpion right here. This helmet isn't even all that expensive and yet it's DOT, ECE, and Snell approved. So the full face helmets provides the best kind of protection that you can have while riding a motorcycle. It pretty much, you know, it covers your whole entire head, covers your face, covers your chin down here, just provides the best protection that you can get. Uh, downside to these helmets is they can obviously get pretty hot in the summertime. Unless, of course, you have a helmet that just flows air extremely well. A lot of them do come with, uh, you know, vents that you can open in various locations of the helmet. You got them there and you got them on the chin. And obviously on the back of the helmet, they have uh, air vents where the air comes out of them. Right back here like this. But these are the best helmets you can buy as far as protection goes. These helmets are also the quietest that you can buy. Because if you look down inside here, this one in particular has very, very nice uh, cheek padding in it. Uh, the helmet liner down inside there is really nice. It's got a chin curtain right here for, for wind. Uh, very well built helmet. And uh, I would recommend getting a full face helmet, especially if you're a new rider because you want the most protection that you can get. Now for our next type of helmet, this is what's known as a modular helmet. And these are basically the best of all all worlds. It combines a three-quarter helmet with a full face helmet with a drop-down visor with a you know a regular visor on it and great airflow and these are just really good helmets but they do have a downside to them. This is rated basically for a three-quarter helmet meaning that they don't even consider this chin bar right here as a safety part of your helmet at all whatsoever. So that's a negative about a helmet like this. However, uh, this can come in extremely handy as you can see like if you're out riding your motorcycle and you want to pull off the side of the road and take a drink or something uh, with a full face helmet you have to basically lift your helmet up or, or take it off or something like that just to be able to, to have a drink or even if you smoke or something like that uh, that's a nice thing about these modular helmets you can just pull off the side of the road and, and lift the chin up and just uh, you know have a drink do whatever or, you know lift it up and talk to your buddies or do something like that so that's what's really nice about these helmets and I do love this style and the concept of helmets like this that's why i bought this one however getting back to the whole comfortability aspect of a helmet this one to me is just not comfortable which is unfortunate because i really really tried to love this helmet i wore it a few times and tried to get used to it but i just couldn't do it it was too distracting um so i've shelved it 
Anyways, modular helmets are really cool. If you can find one of these things that works for you, I would highly recommend one. Just keep in mind that the chin area of these modular helmets is not crash test rated for anything. So just consider this as a three quarter helmet, not a full face helmet. Okay, now let's talk about the three quarter helmet. They have some benefits to the three quarter helmet. Uh, you basically get a lot of airflow. I mean, it's basically just like being out there in the wind while still holding some protection on the side of your head and the top of your head. Uh, it gives you a really good sense of being out there in the wind and a lot of guys like to wear those type of helmets and just put on some sunglasses and go cruising down the road. I would recommend if you're going to buy a helmet like that, you know, at least put a windshield on your bike. Otherwise, you're going to be eating a ton of bugs and things hitting your face when you're doing 60 miles an hour is not a fun experience at all whatsoever. And that's also the downside of wearing a three quarter helmet is because it has like zero protection for your face. I mean, if you go down in a motorcycle crash and you happen to hit your face on the concrete, I, I can't even imagine what that's going to feel like or you know the recovery that's going to take to get over something like that you know the the scarring and everything so just keep in mind if you're going for a three-quarter helmet that, that your face is pretty much unprotected and there's a pretty good chance that you're going to smack your face on the concrete or a tree or or a bumper of somebody's car or something like that if you're wearing a three-quarter helmet so just keep that in mind now talking about the half helmet i wouldn't recommend these things whatsoever although they do have maximum airflow and it basically gives you the best sense of being out in the wind and not having anything wrapped around your head and, and uh, just basically taking away the whole experience from you. Uh, it, they just zero, almost have zero protection to them except for the top of the head, which is that's an area that's probably the least likely to take an impact in a motorcycle crash. Because when you fall, you're going to hit on the side of your head, on your face, on the back of your head, right on top of your head. It's probably it's not very likely it's going to get hit. Um, I, so I would not recommend wearing a half helmet whatsoever. I mean, the only thing that they're good for is avoiding a ticket if you're in a state where a helmet is required by law, but you don't feel like wearing a helmet. It's basically the guys who wear those little tiny cereal bowl helmets are just them saying, you know, screw your law. I'm just going to do the bare minimum to, uh, to, get a, to, to get by without getting a ticket. So I just don't recommend those half helmets whatsoever. A lot of those little half helmets aren't even DOT approved. Uh, you can buy stickers on online that just say DOT and slap it on the back of anything and stick it on your head and and most police won't pull you over and question you for it. It's just something that, you know, I even knew a guy one time that, that had a, a little tiny helmet that was only about a half inch thick and he just put a DOT sticker on. He'd ride around with that thing on his head. And I just, I just, un it's unbelievable to me why a guy would, would uh, ride a motorcycle with something like that on their head knowing that there's zero protection there if you fall. Uh, one piece of advice that I can give you if you're looking to buy a helmet and you have a shop locally where you can go down and try on different helmets and things. I've heard this said many times and uh, this is a piece of advice that I'll pass on that others have given me. Um, when choosing a helmet, go down to a local store if you can and find a helmet that you like, one that you think might fit you. Uh, put the helmet on and just walk around with your helmet with that helmet on for about 10 or 15 minutes and uh, see if it's got any what's called hot spots. Uh, basically any pressure points on your head that that will make you uncomfortable make sure it fits around your ears really well because i know if you've ever worn you know over the head headphones before and you wear those for a while it can make your ears start to hurt and that can be very distracting um make sure that when you buy a helmet that it fits pretty snug like when you put it on your head it's almost difficult to pull it on but once it's there it's very comfortable you don't want to buy a helmet that just falls right on top of your head because those will just probably come right off in an accident. Another thing to note about helmets are the different type of chin straps. Uh, most of them come with what's called a uh, D-ring style. These are the most popular ones and I think probably the most secure ones and to me the most comfortable type to ride with. Now another type of chin strap is what's known as a ratchet strap. This LS2 helmet comes with what's called a ratchet strap and these are actually pretty cool because you can, uh, you can latch them and unlatch them really pretty quick. Only, my only problem with this right here is it's got a lot of hard plastic and a lot of hard metal parts and things right here and it can really get to digging into your neck or into your chin or something like that. Uh, and that's what's another part of this, this helmet for me that was really uncomfortable. I just couldn't get used to it. Although I love the concept of you know one of these types of helmets, these ratchet style, because you can take them on and off really quick. But you know it's just, it's just not for me, but maybe it's for you. You can give it a shot if you want. So to recap different styles of helmets, you have your full face, you have your modular, you have your three-quarter, and you have your half helmet. 
full face helmet provides the best protection, can get a little bit hot in the summer, and can also fog up in colder temperatures, but you can get ones with the pinlock visors. Overall, the uh, full face helmet provides the best protection that you can get in a helmet. Modular helmets. It doubles as a full face and a three quarter helmet, although that chin area is not crash test rated. So just kind of keep that in mind. You're basically wearing a three quarter helmet with a nice, uh, with a chin guard drop down in there. So you can open it up and get a lot of airflow and talk to people and drink and do whatever you want to do. Uh, they're just not as protective as, as, as a full face helmet. So just kind of keep that in mind. But they are really good all around helmets. If you can find one that works for you, awesome, I'd buy it. Uh, the three quarter helmet. Lots of airflow and still protects the side of your head and the top of your head but zero protection to your face and you're gonna eat a lot of bugs unless you have a windscreen on your bike. So keep that in mind. Half helmet, I wouldn't recommend them all, at all whatsoever. They pretty much do no good in a crash. So just, uh, unless of course you wanna ride around with one of those on there, but I mean, I wouldn't recommend those, a half helmet to a beginner rider or well, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, but especially if you're a beginner rider, you're gonna need the most protection that you can buy, the most protection that you can get. So buy the best protection stay away from a half helmet unless you're only concerned while out there riding your motorcycles looking cool then by all means do whatever the hell you want to do i'm not going to stop you so that's going to wrap it up for today's video i want to thank everybody for stopping by and watching my videos and i hope this uh, helps somebody out there to make a decision as far as you know how to buy a helmet uh what to look for in a helmet and uh you know just making your decision a little bit easier and i hope i touched on some of the uh the positives and the negatives of each style of helmet and uh, helped you out just a little bit so uh, thanks for watching my video. Until next time, ride safe. Have a good day.